Hi, I'm Tony Van Veen, CEO of Tismakers. You know, about a month ago, I read an article in New York Times about an Australian artist named Metaverse and how she lost from one day to the next her Instagram account with the Instagram handle at Metaverse. Just like overnight, her account disappeared, 10 years of her work documented on Instagram disappeared as if it had never existed. What happened? Well, it happened right after Facebook, which as you know is Instagram's parent company, changing its name to Meta. And I guess they didn't like an independent artist from Australia having the handle, the Instagram handle at Metaverse. So what's the lesson here for you? Well, the main lesson is that the content that you put on social media is not really ultimately controlled by you. It's controlled by whatever social media platform you put it on. And as such, it can disappear or be censored. Or like happened with Donald Trump, it could be blocked. You could be blocked. Your account could be blocked. So the lesson here is you need your own online home where your content can reside and where you can communicate with your fans, with your followers. That doesn't mean you shouldn't be on social media. By all means, you need to be there because your fans and your followers are there. They're on Facebook, they're on Instagram, they're on TikTok, uh, they're, they're on YouTube. And so you need to be there and use those as a marketing vehicle, but you have to use those marketing vehicles then to try to capture contact information, i.e. an email address from your followers so that you can message them directly. You want to build up an email list of fans and followers as large as possible because an email list you control. Social media you don't control. And in addition to having an email list, you also want to have your own online home for your music, for your pictures, your videos, uh, your art, your lyrics. You need your own website. I recommend Banzoogle. Banzoogle is a very artist-friendly web hosting company. They have artist-friendly pricing. They have e-commerce services uh, that are uh, really affordable. I think you can sell content and your product there and they don't take a commission. Um, they don't know that I'm mentioning them. I get nothing for it. Um, they're just a really good company. So if you're looking at web hosting for you as an artist, um, you want to check out Banzoogle if you're checking out a bunch of uh, web hosting companies. So ultimate lesson, use social media to promote your content, to promote your music, to interact with fans. The social channels are great for that but also use them to make sure that you get them to your own website and that you get an email address that you can ultimately control and maintain the, the, the contact information that you can continue to connect with your fans regardless of what happens on social media and which social media channels rise and fall. You want to be able to have that direct connection to your fans. I hope you found this helpful and I look forward to seeing you next time.